to Ridge Reviews. I'm Richard and you join us today on the way to Supercar Fest at Shelsley Walsh Hill Climb. Now the Shelsley Walsh Hill Climb is one of the longest established hill climbs in the UK. So it's a very famous hill climb and has a lot of classic heritage. We've been very fortunate that Paddle Up has joined as one of the late sponsors and we've been told that, they've been pro that they're providing hospitality for, for all the supercar owners. So uh, we're really looking forward to that. Apparently the, the hospitality includes um, beverages, food and also specialist vantage points at their hospitality areas along the along the actual hill climb so it should be quite interesting to see that we'll probably hook in a little bit along the routes um, and uh, we'll see when we get there system on, put the switch the cruise control on by pressing the button and holding it. You, should, you know the cruise controller is on because there's a notification on in the dashboard console and then you just press the hold the button left or right for increasing or decreasing the standard speed. Unfortunately it's not radar, it's, unfortunately it's not radar sensor cruise control so it doesn't sense off any other vehicles. It's just a fixed setting but it's still adds uh, a lot of value and it's um you know it's a very innocuous little item here just with one little knob but it's actually quite useful
So we just stopped off for the, the classic coffee drive through and we just met up with um, one of our friends, Simon, with his GT3, with his Porsche GT3. So we're going to be driving up in tandem now, Simon with his 911 GT3 and us with 458. We're just on the last stage of the drive-in to Shelsley Walsh now. Shelsley Walsh obviously is a hill climb, therefore you actually end up driving up to Shelsley Walsh because it's on a hill. Then. It's quite noticeable when you get, um, get when you get quite close to the location because the road starts elevating up and then um, you actually then end up pulling into an actually Shelsley Walsh area where the hill climb is. So it's quite uh, quite a picturesque sort of single section that uh, pretty much is, there's little traffic on this area. There'll only be traffic now uh, going towards Shelsley Walsh at this time for the actual event because this is, this is obviously the main lead in to the Shelvesley Walsh location. Right, so we've arrived now at Shelvesley Walsh Hill Climb. Uh, this is Supercar Fest. Look at all the eclectic cars that we've got here. Just straight in front of the camera, or just to the right of me, you can see there's a 765 LT, very rare car. Not too sure about the actual colour of it, it's salmon, but uh, as McLarens go, kudos, that's a 765LT, very rare car and uh, you know, incredible performance. That's in effect the upgraded version of the 720. We'll take a walk around and we'll show you some of the cars that are here at the moment and um, probably have to do this again later on as more cars arrive. So here's my car parked up here at Shelsley Walsh. Got all various levels of eclectic vehicles, a nice um, green. Aston Martin, I don't know what which actually one it is. Advantage, <laughs> Advantage I believe. The Lancia. Honda NSX. You know, one of our friends has just purchased one of these. And the number plate NSX 1Y. <laughs> Lovely car. This is, these, these are what I consider to be the proper NSXs. The later ones just aren't the same. The original ones are fantastic cars. Not too sure about the plinth on the front, but kind of everything. As, uh, as everybody's probably aware, my number plate keeps falling off. Look at this Porsche, 356. I assume that's original, with the yellow stripe. And look at the, uh, the badges from all the different rallies it's been involved in. A true classic. Here we've got a 675 LT, classic McLaren colouring, light green. I don't know what the proper name for it is. So here we have a 997 GT3 RS, very rare in the classic colouring, white with red wheels and, and, and red stripes. And of course, wing mirrors in red as well. And here, for me, the star of the show so far, 458 Speciale. Look at this car. This is my dream car. Probably in the spec that I would buy one as well. Although I'd, I'd try to find one in yellow with the, yeah, with the blue nut stripe, but they're very, very rare. I don't even know if they did the Speciale this you know the non-aperta variants in in yellow with the uh, blue nut stripe but if they did that would be the model that i'd be looking for in the future if i can move into one of these but this is this is my dream car absolutely beautiful still have yet to drive one so i, I need to drive one before i actually think about buying one of course when i say my dream car i mean this is my dream purchase route car with regards to mira and, and f1 mclaren f1 those would be my my dream car if I if I won an extreme amount of money but this is is this is actual feasible possible in the future maybe whereas a McLaren F1 and a Mira is impossible <laughs> or almost impossible so we've got a 911 Turbo S Porsche 911 Turbo S on the back interesting color scheme like a grigio gray we've got a 348 TB here which you may notice this from Ferrari Owners Day. I think we've got some footage of this in Ferrari Owners Day. We know the people who brought this car. We've got here a 488 Pista, the silver nut stripe. Actually, the stripe goes all the way down the back, but doesn't flare out at the back. So it's just a silver, a silver stripe across the, across the top. I guess you could spec them in different variants with um, whether or not it flared out over the rear wing. You've got an original Aventador, metallic black. And 488, 488 Coupe. We've got an original Ferrari California. This is previous to the upgrade to the California T. Here we've got a 570 GT in white. A 
another 570 GT. This is a 5, 570S in grey. F12 in almost like a polar silver. When I say polar silver, polar silver is a Porsche colour, but it's like got a, got a tinge of blue in it. So I don't know what you would call that for with regards to a Ferrari colour. Looking at my wheels, this could be Argento Nürburgring, but I'm not absolutely sure. Here we have a McLaren 650S, a 488 Spider in metallic black. Look at the interior, my God, is that white? That's almost like an ice white interior. You'd never be able to wear jeans in that car. I mean, it looks absolutely stunning, but I'd be terrified about bloody getting any mark on it. That would just, you just have to sneeze on it and mark. I recognize the mats that are in there as well. I think I know the, uh, the person who provided the mats for them. If you look inside, you can see it's, it's got a beautiful white interior. You cannot miss that ice white interior, especially with a sunny day like today. Um, and you've got a classic specification inside. So you've got, you haven't even got um, carbon fiber driving zone. So the steering wheel is standard. It isn't even carbon fiber, which is very rare. So it's very, very little um, specification on the interior apart from this super white interior. So very, very classic spec. There isn't even any carbon fiber on the outside. Probably spent all the money on the um, on the ice white on the ice white lever. And uh, interesting set of wheels. Don't recognise those as standard Ferrari. They must be off spec. Custom wheels. This is the upgrade to the 720. This is 765 LT. LT stands for long tail. In effect, it's not that long a tail and it's not really that much longer than 720. What it means is that you, you have a longer rear wing on the back. That is a beautiful car. I mean, it looks like a spaceship even, even in today's times. Well, it is a new car, new design car. A lot of, uh, a lot of swirls on the actual paintwork and you can see the, the bodywork has some slight imperfections in it with regards to the panels not quite being right which I guess is no surprise for McLaren from uh, from all the past history you hear about them not, notwithstanding this is a beautiful car and fantastic design surprising that the owner doesn't seem to have PPF'd it at all not even the front it seems to be quite peppered on the front considering it's a pretty much a new car fairly new car it's, uh, it's surprising and an interesting color as well I guess you'd call that salmon. A variation of pink in effect. So you've got a Ferrari Portofino. You've got diamond cut wheels, grey and grey interior. No specification. Carbon interior. Quite a high spec. It's more of a sport spec. Obviously these are spiders anyway, so you can drop the roof down. And here we have an original Aventador. This is in like a flame orange. Beautiful colour. And here we've got, of course, a 458. A 458 Italia. 458 Italia in a, in a lighter coloured red. It's not Dino and it's not Russo Corsa. I'm not quite sure what colour that is. It might be Rosso Corsa, it might be my glasses actually. So, no, but no it's, no, it's definitely a lighter version. No, this is definitely a lighter version of the than Rosso Corsa. I'm not quite sure what colour it is. It's not Scuderia and it's not Dino. Or oh, it doesn't look like Dino. Maybe the sun's playing tricks. Beautiful, like purple, purple coloured. Got to be careful because the sunglasses could, uh, could change the colour, but it's a purple coloured TVR Tuscan. Nearly bought one of these some time ago. Interior looks like it's wearing well. Yeah, you can see it's had a hi-fi or the, the head unit removed uh, for security, I'm sure, because obviously he's got the top open, he's got the roof off, this is a Targa. But look at the switch gear, the aluminium bespoke switch gear. This is what TVRs were renowned for, absolutely stunning switch gear. So it's, it's really a shame they didn't have the reliability um, built into the car. So we're finished there for the first walk and talk. Maybe we'll pick up on some more cars later on. What we're going to do now is try and pick up some coverage from the paddocks and from the actual start line so you can see some of the cars actually setting off for the hill climb. And then we'll move up to the Padlock Hospitality area and show you some footage from there.